Yeah, hello. I would like to welcome you to our uh, weekly webinar today related to the IBKR mobile app. Um, and I want to present you a few things how to use the IBKR mobile app and what you can actually do. Um, also comparing to the um, client or web trader um, and the TWS uh, platform. So if the um, sound um, is okay and you can see the um, PowerPoint presentation, you can um, use the chat function to let me know if everything is um, uh, stable and visible for you. And then we would, we would like to start in the next two minutes. Okay, great, thanks. Then, yeah, the legal disclaimer that this is not uh, um, investment advice or any trading recommendation. I think, um, yeah, you might know all this from the beginning. My name is Christian Walter from TradeVola. Just a few basic facts about me. Um, but I think the most important is um, coming um, now. This is the um, IBKR mobile app. And today they are like, we are not having the time to discuss um, each and everything, but I think the main facts um, to use the portfolio. Also, what is quite interesting, of course, is to see your account uh, with all the um, margins, loans, or um, your um, equity, what is available for purchasing other um, assets. And um, the next topic where we also want to go over is um, monitor how to create a watch list and uh, i think most important how to create or how to change columns um, in your monitor even in your portfolio to see maybe some more information that uh, what is uh, shown as default and uh, last but not least we want to also give a short overview about order and trades uh, where you can see all your orders you can even access from here the account management to see all the information uh, what you um, find in your account management where you can um, add market data, um, change um, a few things and uh, even download your statements and reports. So I think um, comparing um, the mobile app to the TWS uh, platform, it's easier. Uh, I would say it's not all functionalities uh, available like we might know it from the, um, um, from the TWS platform. But um, yeah, especially um, if you're not in front of your computer, it's um, it's a easy um, uh, access to all your orders uh, and trades and monitors. And even what is um, for me also very interesting, what is a little bit down of this menu, what I would also show you in the mobile app is the um, alert function, um, especially um, if you are not at home and you just want to have a message uh, when there's like a stock going below or under a certain price it makes sense to um, set this as an alert so that you are um, able to just check your um, TWS or mobile app in this uh, moment when something really important um, happened. Okay then um, let's go to the mobile app. I hope you will see each and everything in a second. So here we go. As you should see now, my um, um, sorry, um, the uh, mobile application. And like I said in the beginning, um, there are like a lot of different um, settings what you can change here in the mobile app. I would like to start with the portfolio um, where you can see everything what is related to your account. Um, I think this is clear. This is a daily profit and loss. Your total unrealized profit and loss you always find here. Net, li net liquidation value um, is also here available. And um, all your positions um, are displayed here. Um, I think what is important for you in the beginning to change maybe some um, columns. And um, this is something what I want to present you because, oh, sorry. We should see it without yeah, just a little bit slower. If you click on these three dots um, here on top of the mobile app, you can change actually um, all columns. Just go to manage columns um, because there are a few things what you uh, normally don't see in the beginning. 
um, for me, very important is the uh, the total unrealized profit loss uh, because I think mainly or the basic default settings will only uh, show you the daily profit and loss. I mean, um, it's more important to see the total unrealized profit and loss and all this um, you can um, add here. Just go to add columns and then um, you can check for all the columns which are available it's quite a lot um, and if you don't have enough um, space on your um, on your display like you see i can easily um, just go and see the total profit and loss at the end of um, this um, this portfolio overview so to change it um, like i said just go here to uh, manage columns and um, there are a few things um, even mentioned below for me, like I said, the unrealized profit and loss is um, something uh, very important. And this is uh, exactly what is highlighted here. Um, you find this under positions uh, and P&L. And uh, yeah, there are many, many more average price um, P&L um, percentage. Um, I mean, the rest is up to you. Maybe there are some columns uh, what are also important for you um, other than last change in position uh, size. Um, but I think, um, yeah, it's easy for you to check this uh, on your own um, IBKR mobile app. I just want to um, go to the next important step. Um, current convert currency um, is, I think, mainly important for people who are trading on a cash account um, because in the cash account you have a base currency. Um, what, yeah, didn't. Doesn't, uh, was not important that the base currency is also matching um, the same what you are holding in, in the cash position. But if your base currency, for example, is euro and you want to trade something in the US, uh, US dollar, you need to convert it before in the cash account. In the margin account, it's not needed. But I know um, in the TWS, it's a lot of people are struggling. Let's uh, put it this way, uh, if they want to change currency. In the mobile app, it's super easy. Um, you don't even have to think about it, uh, how to do do it in which way i just type um, the number here let's see i want to convert euro and usd and then i just type how many euros i want to convert and then i see the amount in uh, usd what makes it super easy um, to convert um, currency it's much better than, to be honest, um, in the TWS uh, platform and in the client portal, I didn't find any settings uh, how you can change it there. So I always recommend it to do it in the mobile app. Uh, this is for me most easiest uh, way. But like I said, um, this is only important for um, cash accounts or if you, uh, I know a few people, they also receive um, funds in the in a currency which they want to convert and normally the bank is taking commissions or giving you not doing even the best price so um ib is um or trade station global is also a good uh, platform to just change currencies um, because you can do it much cheaper than uh, with your with your normally um, with your normal bank account so then we go to monitor like i said what is for me an important um information is your net liquidation value of course you see it also on your portfolio um, itself but also uh, what is available in cash what is holding in uh, securities um, maybe um, how much is your margin um, what is left and all these informations you found here under account where you can check what is your current maintenance margin or how much margin um, did you already use um, so all these information um, you find here with your buying power, buying power, for example, also very important, um, maybe mainly for people who also like to do day trades. Um, so you find this under funds. So for me, at the end of every trading uh, session, um, the account section is um, something really important where I can check my balance, my margin and my funds. And um, it's very easy and uh, I think a little bit more efficient than uh, doing it um, on, a, on a client portal or on a TWS platform. So if there's anything um, what I'm going over a little bit too fast, just let me know. We are always um, able to 
answer your questions, uh, what you can uh, or where you can use the um, the chat function in GoToMeeting, but we will also have a few minutes at the end of the presentation where we can still discuss a few questions, uh, what you might have. So this was account. Let's go to the next topic, uh, what is so-called monitor, um, where you can include your own uh, watch lists. I think uh, there's some basic uh, watch lists uh, implemented. Um, I think it's quite easy. You see this button, new watch list, where you just can create a new watch list. The watch list uh, should also match exactly um, with your watch lists, what you use in um, your TWS platform. So um, if you create a watch list over there, you should also have access uh, here on the on the um, IBKR mobile app. And here's pretty much the same. I mean, to add a symbol, I think um, that's quite easy. If you know the symbol, just type it in and um, you will see the the stock or the asset you um, selected in the um, watch list itself. And here's the same way what I told you earlier to change some um, columns because as you see, we only have last change, change percentage and volume. I can also click on, um, wait a second, I just click on manage columns and here it's exactly the same what I showed you earlier in um, in portfolio. So if there's anything what you are missing here, for example, dividends, if you want to see dividend amount, the date, ex-dividend date, or even the the um, dividend yield, you can just add this. And let's select a good dividend stock, for example, very zone is normally, um, yeah, even Apple, okay. Um, dividend date is the, this is not the X dividend date, but you see the uh, yield at the end. Um, what is um, also very interesting. So for example, very zone gives you a dividend per, per year of 4.2%. And um, the amount of dividend you also see it's um, quarterly paid. So every quarter normally, um, very zone will pay out uh, uh, yeah, 61 cent. So all this information can be added to your um, portfolio as well as your monitor. And uh, I think it's quite convenient that it's also um, matching with uh, what you're normally using in a TWS platform. So if you're not in front of your computer, you can access the same watch list like in your um, TWS platform as well. So these are the main facts um, for for a monitor, let's maybe add a few other um, symbols as well. General Motors and Teva Pharmaceuticals. Quite an interesting um, um, symbol, especially after the news this week. Um, the stock went down a lot and um, I think to finalize the um, monitor, like if you select any of these um, symbols, you will always see a short, um, small um, chart, but uh, on the right hand side, you find the button more. And then uh, if you click on more, you have really everything what is needed um, uh, for the symbol. I mean, you can uh, see a chart on a two hours basis, uh, on a one day, two day, you can see select all the different um, the different uh, durations here um, to see maybe also some more historical data. Um, and then um, if we scroll a little bit um, below, we see um, the implied volatility, um, market capitalization, dividend as well. Uh, what we have in our like um, monitor columns uh, included now, you will also see it in the detailed overview with all the news, analyst, uh, analyst ratings. Um, so mainly I think all important information for um, um, a stock or any asset, uh, what you need to include in your, in your monitor. And just to 
show you two other things if you want to trade it um, you can easily um, trade it um, from from watch list itself you can see here this is how normally i do it this buy and sell button as soon as you uh, click on the uh, on the buy button you will see um, the order entry window on the mobile app version where you can choose the limit price time and force i mean duration everything what is needed you can even access a attached bracket order means if you want to enter the market um, and set a stop and the limit order or target order as well then um, everything is also available here on on the mobile app yeah it would be nice i saw a few questions um, if we can um, um, stay on the uh, um, topic for the presentation i know there are a lot of other questions uh, which might be not um, um, connected to the mobile app uh, i will try to um, answer this at the end but so far if there's something in between um, i would suggest that you um, start with questions related to the ibk kr mobile app otherwise um, we will um, confuse maybe other people um, because the topic today is the, the mobile app itself so yeah for buy and sell just use this uh, buttons below um, there's one option if you click on uh, book especially if someone is interested in level two data um, right. yeah just a little, let's go back a little bit um, there was a small issue yeah the screen was frozen um, so um, let's back to the columns maybe manage columns what i showed you earlier is um, if you add some columns you can select the same as uh, with the portfolio in the beginning and um, like i included this for symbols here and if i click to more um, you can see the chart with um, different um, time frames or different like um, historical data you can even um, use your both fingers to uh, end Make it a little bit bigger or zoom in and zoom out and uh, if you are interested in like having the market depth the full market depth uh, if you applied for the data you can see even the full uh, book of this um, very zone stock where you can also place your order just by clicking um, it was a little bit fast clicking um, on the left side if you want to buy this um, stock you just need to select the quantity and then you see buy limit buy stop so um, this is main, mainly i think for people who are trading like uh, in this short duration day trading maybe is uh, the book trade or something what um, is quite interesting also here in the mobile app so this is the book trader i think options uh, is also quite easy if you um, add any symbol to your watch list and Let's go one step uh, back. You click here on more, where you can see this detailed overview. You will find here on top um, all the things like book trader and options, what might be also interesting um, for the asset uh, which you selected here. And uh, because the screen was frozen, I just want to show you a few things what we can also see below the chart, um, what I mentioned earlier, everything what is important to see on a um, stock for example what is the uh, volume average what is the uh, volume today the dividend the dividend in percentage all these informations are also coming um, below uh, analyst ratings if someone is interested in uh, you will also find here so i think mainly all the important facts uh, are in this detailed overview of um, yeah, your single asset, what which you selected from the monitor. So yeah, um, I hope just to make it um, short that the um, first thing was um, shown on the screen, how to uh, select or how to create a new watch list. I think this is uh, also pretty simple. Um, there are several watch lists already included, which you can also use. Um, and like I told you in the beginning, Normally, the watch list should be also available on your um, TWS version as well. So what did we um, um, see? It was portfolio, how to convert currency, um, account, 
hopefully this was um, also shown on the screen with the margins, funds and market value, what is um, yeah very important, but I think this was um, still um, shown on the screen. So we can go to another yeah, quite interesting uh, thing. What I forgot in the beginning is the iBot type to trade. So if there's anything uh, where you need an answer, um, there's, um, I would say, like a good um, solution of a FIQ file where you can um, find everything what is important. Just type your question here and this iBot normally will bring you all the answers. It's a little bit difficult maybe to find the, the right answer, but it's, uh, it's a really um, good overview about everything what is needed for the um, TWS or the IBKR mobile app. Um, and um, this might also help you to find some information what you might missed in the beginning. So um, then let's go to orders and trades. Uh, for the moment, we don't have any open orders, uh, but I can even see the trades from yesterday. There was a trade uh, on the um, S&P 500 ETF um, what expired and uh, normally should go back for the last or it should show you the last three days um, um, with all your trades and um, open orders so at the end of the day um, i normally also check if there's any open order uh, which i need to cancel or um, which i might need to change yeah, account management, also interesting that uh, you can uh, just exec, uh, access the account management here from your from your IBK KR mobile app as well. So um, this is also something um, what makes it a little bit more easy to work with the uh, mobile app um, instead of using the uh, TWS platform where you have the same options um, for accessing the account management. So notifications, I think um, this is something uh, what might be clear for all of you um, as you get the notifications in your client portal in the same um, way. Um, and TWS platform will also show it to you. I just want to show you the function um, of the scanner where you can create your new scan um, for every asset class. If you want to scan something for the US um, stocks, Let's maybe start first with the um, already existing library of your scans, uh, because there you also find, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, some dividend um, list. Um, the most common, of course, US movers, uh, where you can see the, um, the biggest gainers and uh, um, losers, which you can also easily um, um, add to one of your monitor. For example, here we see um, Transocean um, is symbol or stock from uh, Switzerland, one of the biggest losers today, and I can add them to the whole list to my monitor. And if I want to have a symbol, one second, let's go back to the scanner. So here we had the library. Um, uh, it's already entered here. This was what I want to show you the dividend. And if I run this, um, you should have the information here. I mean, um, yeah, just make sure because in the US um, it's quarterly paid uh, dividends. And if you find something with a really, really um, high dividend, it can also be that uh, the stock went uh, just down a lot and that the percentage um, of the dividends so high because the value of the stock uh, changed rapidly in the last uh, months. But it's also, um, yeah, a good watch list to uh, see maybe some uh, more interesting uh, dividend symbols than what you normally um, find in uh, in um, newsletters or on uh, different websites, uh, for example. And add to monitor the same. Okay, save symbols. You can even save all the symbols from the scan today. I mean, in the dividends, there will be uh, no change tomorrow. Um, but like, of course, for the US movers, 
you will always have the, the biggest movers from the actual day. So if you want to have a look on these symbols from the previous day, it's, uh, I think, a good idea to even save the symbols. Yeah, but you can also play around a little bit with the um, different uh, um, apps or the different functions here in the uh, IBKR mobile app. And if there's anything, any questions, just feel free to contact us um, because I think normally it's easy to watch it, but at the end it's, um, um, I would say, always try and error to find um, the right settings or the right uh, things what you might need for your trading setups in the IBKR mobile app. Very interesting is for me, or very important is the the alert function. So um, you see this um, same here um, on the left hand side with all the different um, tools. So let's just go to uh, alerts and then find a symbol. We have the uh, Sorry, um, you have to go to the plus um, at the bottom to create and create a new alert. So, and then we just give it a name. Let's say trade roller. Then we start with the conditions. Um, yeah, what well, this might be also interesting if you are trading on a margin, um, you can even um, um, create an alert when your margin is getting really low, um, especially for people who are using the margin, um, this might be interesting to have this information before IB and might close some uh, positions automatically. I mean, normally, if you uh, um, if there's not left, uh, much margin left, you will get automatically a notification, but uh, here in the conditions, you can create this um, even a little bit earlier. I think the most common condition for an alert is uh, price. And then you have to select um, the symbol uh, for where you want to have this um, price alert. Uh, we can do, for instance, here Snapchat from New York Stock Exchange. And then let's say I want to have um, alert, sorry, an alert for if it's going above 20. Two dollars and ninety cents. Um, yeah, this should be a last price. You can um, also include outside the regular sessions um, if this is interesting for you. If this is uh, after hours um, coming um, above this. Um, Twenty-two dollars and ninety cents. And what is um, also very important that you can. Um, um, not only select one condition, I can uh, add another condition. Let's say Snapchat and um, the S&P 500 ETF. Oh, yeah. It's not available for trading. Then we should choose the we can choose just any other stock. Let's stay on Apple. And we can actually do exactly the same for Apple. And then you just choose like and or, or I clicked on end. So both condition uh, must match before I get an alert. And at the end of the day, um, you just need to um, click here on create an alert. And um, then our alert will be shown here on the screen. And if you, sorry, if you click on it, you can easily delete it or change it. Um, the interesting thing, what I said in the beginning is that this alert normally um, will come as a push up message. So you don't have to check your application the whole time. You don't have to um, see um, what is uh, Apple or Snapchat doing. It will just give you the alert and then you can um, enter your trade um, here in the mobile app itself, um, you can't yeah, connect alerts to uh, to orders because in the TWS um, you might know it. Um, there's a possibility to say if Snapchat and um, Apple is um, above this price, then I want to place a market order for for Snapchat, for example. This is um, something what is um, missing here, what is not possible with the 
with the um, mobile app but at least you don't have to check the price and uh, you will get a message uh, when something really for you something really important um, will happen um, there's a question related to um, the scanner from library um, subscription for notice oh sorry this are uh, um, even if you work on the late data, this is um, all available on the uh, mobile app. So there's no special subscription or market data um, needed um, because on this account, I think I only have the option uh, market data. So you can see even um, I can access all the watch lists or scanning tools uh, with the late data on uh, US markets. Just for your, for your alerts, of course, uh, if you don't have the real-time data, your alert might um, yeah, might start a little bit um, later, um, 15 minutes later, because um, your your prices are delayed. But there's no special um, subscription what you need for for scanning. Um, just make sure you have the real time data to really get the alert in the time where this um, stock also reaches the price what you what you set up there. Yeah, tax optimization was another thing what came up as a question, um, something where I'm not really familiar with, but uh, let's have a look if we check, for example, no credit data available, but it's a good, uh, it's a good topic what uh, I just write down and I uh, can uh, produce a small video what you find on our YouTube channel. Um, I hope I can have this ready by the next week um, so I can just do some um, text. It's not what you think may or what you might think uh, that's uh, related to your whole account. It's more or less uh, like you saw on uh, single um, symbols, um, but the rest, like I said, you will find on our YouTube channel where I will um, make sure that um, um, I explain the, the text optimize, uh, optimizer. So, um, yeah, um, alerts, um, scans, text optimizer, um, and account management. I think um, so far we we covered the most um, important um, things on the um, on the IBKR mobile app. And let me check if there was um, any more. Question. Yeah, another important fact um, what I also need to mention is um, that you only have access to one of um, these tools. So, for example, I can't um, um, log into my TWS platform on the same time like um, the IBKR mobile app or the client portal. I mean, the client portal you can, but you can't play straight there when you're logged in in your um, mobile app on the same time if you um yeah need to have two separate logins that's also not an issue you can um, create as many logins as you want to have for one account you just need to make sure or like uh, if you need on all different logins real-time data that's the only thing uh, what you need to pay separately so for example if uh, you have five different computers and you want to have it on all or let's say three different computers um, on the same time running same with your mobile app you can um, yeah apply for four different logins and then you need to decide where you want to show the the real-time um, data or where you might not need it so this is um, I think also something what is um, um, quite easy to apply if uh, you already existing trade station global customer just send us an email um, and we will set a separate login um, for you and um, yeah for anyone who's um, dealing directly with IB you can also contact them um, and apply for a separate uh, login so what we might not cover um, in the beginning when I checked the portfolio I mean the cash balance is um, below on a margin account uh, like I said it's um, pretty easy because you will not change your or you might not change your um, um, cash as um, you trade other currencies or in other currencies. 
but uh, you normally have this overview here and if there's a negative negative um, cash balance the reason for this is um, on the margin account quite simple because uh, yeah, no it's exactly because if i open positions all these positions are in us dollar it will um, yeah take the money um, and um, put a negative cash balance in this currency where i hold positions as soon as I close them, the negative cash balance um, yeah, will be also um, closed, and only only your profit and loss will always stay in uh, in in the currency which you traded. So, what does it mean in this account? For example, we started with a 10,000 um, euro. Now you can see um, it is 10,000 and yeah, 680 euros. So if I close all open positions um, at the end of the day, it means that um, there will be roughly or approximately um, 750, 800 US dollar as uh, my profit. And then it's up to you. You can also um, transfer money in USD out of your account, or you can just change the money in the same way what we showed in the beginning with the uh, very easy um convert currency um thing so in this situation i just need to do mm. ah this is also something um, what is interesting because yeah, it looks like, um, because maybe I don't have any other cash balance, uh, but I couldn't select in the uh, currency I have, because yeah, of course I don't have any other open uh, or positive cash balance. Uh, I couldn't select anything else than, than euros, but um, this should be also available um, on your um, IBKR mobile app. And the last thing for people who are having more than one account, um, you can normally see your account number here on top. Um, and if um, you're holding two, three accounts for different strategies, you can also have one login with um, all the different accounts. You just have to click on the account and then you will see an overview of all um, of all different um, accounts which you can select from here. Um, yeah, this is a good question. Um, I can uh, check the scanner later as well, but um, there's a question related to uh, um, convert USD for USD stocks. Um, depends how long you want to hold the US stocks, but normally I would recommend to uh, change the currency because the negative, negative um, USD cash balance um, also causes like interest. And uh, if you hold like some of your cash in the currency which you want to trade in then uh, it's um, yeah it's much better because you um, avoid paying any interest in uh, for having a negative cash balance in another currency so especially on buy and hold i highly recommend uh, to change your currency in advance um, because if you hold positions like for a really long time uh, period it's not. It's. It depends also on the value, but um, the interest can you know, can go up. I mean, it's changing um, from from time to time, as we all know. But there can be a few dollars what you pay in interest uh, if you're holding like negative cash balance. So this is something what you should really consider to do before you start trading in other currencies. Okay, then once again, um, let's check the scanner, but I don't have any subscriptions here. So as I didn't see anything coming up here, I mean, in the library, I could use each and everything. Maybe for own scans, uh, it's on your stock. Okay, let's create a new scan for US stocks. Let's 
sorry, a second, just. Let's check out by option value. Yeah, this is um, something what you, what I will also um, do a small video, but all the predefined um, scanners from the library should be accessible um, for you without any having, without any having any subs, uh, subscriptions for your own um, scans. Um, like I said at the beginning for the text optimizer, I will also do um, a short video what you will find on our um, YouTube channel then. Okay, um, yeah, so far these are the main um, facts for the IBKR mobile app. I think we already uh, uploaded some small videos um, on our YouTube channel as well. So if you don't want to miss in the future any of the videos, um, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And um, other than this, we discussed today portfolio, how to convert currency, um, very important, the monitor and how to create your, your own watch lists. Um, and if you want to delete one of them, you can just go to manage tabs and uh, we can delete everything what we did earlier. Delete means just it's not showing on your monitor. And um, then we have our two watch list um, here, um, what we can always change. And from there, I think is the basic work uh, where I start my trades, uh, where I have the overview about all the information which are needed. Orders and trades, I think it's pretty easy. Um, account management, um, we did also a few videos, the account management, uh, what you find here. Um, is um, almost the same um, what you or similar to what you have um, in your um, yeah, TWS platform or which you can access from there. So you can change your market data, you can change your trading permission from here, even um, fund transfers and other statements uh, you can access from here. So this is, I think, some really useful um, tool what you can use um, or um, what is implemented in the mobile app itself. So yeah, this is for the moment everything related to the IBKR mobile app. Um, I would say thanks for your attention. And if there's anything else or if you need any uh, additional information, I will give you just our contact information in a second um, where you can where you can um, uh, always give us a call or send us an email and all the other informations you will find on our website as well um, as the IBK Air mobile app is uh, getting um, yeah improved I would say or like uh, more advanced step by step um, I'm pretty sure in the future we will do some more videos and some more webinars for the IBKR mobile app. But is there, if there's anything what is also interesting uh, for you, like CFDs, I read a few things uh, we will um, do in the September a CFD webinar as well. Um, it's yeah, not um, quite complicated, a few things to find. So I think it's useful to do some explanations on the CFD as well. But if there's something what is um, a little bit more complex, uh, would be nice if you can send us just um, some short um, information in advance so you can we can also prepare a few things for you and um, as i already said thank you for your attention and uh, i hope we can welcome you again um, in one of our next upcoming um, webinars and um, last but not least i like i already said feel free to subscribe to our youtube channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos Thanks and have a nice uh, evening.